Hi everyone, so I'm back. Uh, welcome to just another dang how-to channel. It's been a while since my last video and I kind of neglected the channel for a little bit but now I'm back and I have a new machine that I'm setting up so what better way to start it with some tutorials. Uh, on this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to set up homebrew. So I used homebrew before in some of my past videos so homebrew is a package manager uh, why would you use a package manager on a Mac so basically if you want to install a software you need to go to the website of that software for example Winwar or node or uh, maven Java, even Java and all those software uh, Apache MySQL you go to their download page and then you download from there but with homebrew that's a lot easier so you just uh, install homebrew and then you could search for the packages that you could install using homebrew so let's get started um, to get to install homebrew on your machine you just need to visit their website brew.sh and just copy this link so homebrew is written on uh, Ruby since Ruby is already pre-installed on your machine on a Mac to prove that just go to Ruby on your terminal and say Ruby dash V and that should give you the version of Ruby so I copied the install uh, script from the website and I paste it there and it should run and enter your admin password on your machine and that should start downloading the package it would download some prerequisites as well so just let it uh, download everything So as you can see here, Homebrew is run entirely by unpaid volunteers. If you like using the tool, you could visit their GitHub page at uh, github.com homebrew forward slash brew hashtag donations and you could send donations there. So there you go, Homebrew installed. So simply type brew.help to make sure everything's working and you could see all uh, the stuff you could do with homebrew so you could do brew search and you could search for particular uh, packages packages also they name, named it formula um, but if you want a graphical interface you could go to the website and scroll a bit at the bottom and you could see homebrew packages and click on that link and you could browse all formula so these are all the formulas so you have any two postscripts and a lot more I'm gonna search for UNRAR because this is the tool that I'm interested in so UNRAR so if I go to my installer of homebrew I just say brew install UNRAR And that should grab the package from wherever Anwar is hosted and install it on the machine. That's it, that easy. So all the packages are symbolically linked on the user locale. So if I go there, CD user locale, do a list, you can see that there's a seller um, directory here. So seller directory is where all the packages are installed. So you can see I have Anwar installed already there. So let's get my finder in here. I have a package that I want to unzip. So this is the m2rar file. It's on my downloads. So let me go to my downloads folder do a list um, and there's the rar file and I just say unrar x m2 rar so 
that's it and if I do a list slash a my m2 file has been enlarged and I can see all the files that is in there that easy so that's easy that's how easy to install um, software using homebrew now if you want to install the software you have the same command you just say brew uninstall unrar and that should uninstall it and it could also maintain um, show you outdated versions of a package so if you go brew outdated oops brew oh, I turn my caps on so brew outdated any package that you have installed locally in your machine that's outdated that's not uh, the latest version according to their formula it would show up there and you could simply just do a brew upgrade and the name of the package or simply brew upgrade to upgrade all the um, packages that you have locally on your machine so that's easy um, and if you want to uninstall homebrew simply go back to their website copy the same link and instead of install here you run uninstall so I'm gonna uninstall unrar uninstall unrar And if I go to CD user local seller do a list, you can see that uh, it's no longer listed. It's had, it has been uninstalled. And if I want to uninstall Homebrew, that automatically run. So uninstall and just say yes, uninstall. And that's it. So Homebrew is now uninstalled. So you want to install it back? Just run the install command. That easy. So check out Homebrew. Check out the packages that you can install. I'm going to run some other series of tutorials um, around installing some of the packages that we were doing manually before, like PHP, MySQL, and all of the stuffs. I'm going to run them on homebrew. I'm also going to try installing some of this using some Docker technology. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Cheers. Bye.